Good morning, Eagle Nation. I'm Anna M. It's Monday, June 14th. Hi, I'm Anne. Good morning. I'm Anna D. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday today, Monday the 14th, to 7th grader Jane Lapati. Happy birthday tomorrow, Tuesday at the 15th, to 8th grader Jason Ballery. Today, we would like to welcome Mr. Miller back to the broadcast. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning. Thank you for having me. The Regents exams start this week. Could you tell us how the test will work this year? Yes. Yeah, so our first Regents exam that we will be giving is the ELA. That is for our 11th graders. And that will be on Thursday, June 17th. Uh, New York State is going to uh, offer four Regences, um, our ELA, our um, living environment, which will be Tuesday, July 22nd, our algebra, which will be uh, Wednesday, June 23rd, and then our earth science, which will be Thursday, June 24th. Um, this year, the regences are optional. So as long as you pass your courses, you will not only receive course credit, but you will also receive regents credit. Um, so because the regents are optional, we are encouraging all our students to take it. It is a good opportunity to practice, uh, especially for our ninth graders who have never, uh, maybe have never had a regents before. This is very good practice for you to take. So we're encouraging all our students to take it. We can, uh, we are offering transportation. You'll be able to be picked up in the morning at your normal time. And then we will have an around 11 o'clock, 1115 bus run to get you back home. So you don't have to stay for the whole day. Thank you for that information. Could you tell us about an year uh, activity and graduation? Yes, absolutely. So our last day of school um, for in in person learning is going to be the 16th. We still have June 18th as a Friday in case you have uh, that last minute work to get in. And I encourage all our students to make sure that you are up to date and you have all your assignments in. Uh, but if you need that extra help on Friday, we will be still offering as a normal Friday on June 18th. Um, on the 16th for our 7th and 8th graders, we will have our award ceremony for them. For our 7th graders, um, we will be doing awards during lunch and we're going to go out on Eagle Landing and have a nice time with that. And then for our 8th graders, we're going to do that at the end of the day, the last period of the day. And again, that will be on Eagle Landing. We are going to broadcast both of them um, uh, so that parents can, can see that happen. Also on that last day of school, our seventh and eighth graders will be turning their computers over to their last period class teacher, and uh, we will take care of them. For our students in grades nine through 11, you will be keeping your computers over the summer. We know that some students are uh, taking some summer courses. Uh, there are some uh, summer assignments and things like that. So we want our students to be able to work on those and we know that they are responsible responsible enough to handle that so uh, they will be taking their computers home for the summer. Our seniors will be handing their computers in anytime after the 16th. We will uh, be able to hand them in to the main office. Uh, they can also hand them in when they come in to some of their senior events. Uh, we are going to have a senior barbecue on the 18th um, which uh, starting at 1130 on Eagle Landing. We will have students come in and after the barbecue, we'll uh, put us uh, all our seniors in their cap and gown and walk uh, to the elementary school where we can have our elementary parade that has been started as a nice tradition. So it's nice to see that come back. And then after that, we will do a senior countdown um, for our, our seniors so they have that activity. Then that would bring us into graduation. We will have graduation rehearsal on the 25th starting at uh, 8 o'clock. The Lioness Club will be uh, providing breakfast for our seniors. And then at nine o'clock, we will go down and have our rehearsal. Graduation will be uh, taking place on the 26th, which is Saturday the 26th at 10 a.m. And the big difference in our graduation this year is we will be down on the soccer field under a tent. We're able to get a big enough tent to cover 500 people. And we're excited that we are basically going to have be able to have our same graduation that we would normally have in our auditorium, but outside on our soccer field. So we're excited about that. Each senior is going to be able to have six guests, uh, which is uh, very exciting so that um, not only the class can share in this moment, but important friends and family can share in that as well. So we're very excited about um, 
th that we are going to have our graduation here on campus and with all our graduates together celebrating. It's hard to believe that we are almost at the end of the school year. What are a couple highlights of this year for you? Well, I really feel that our students embraced um, our theme this year, which was soaring above the storm as uh, they adjusted. And I know it was a difficult adjustment, but they adjusted to a new schedule. They adjusted to social distance uh, requirements, mask requirements. And I was very proud of how they handled that. We as a school did extremely well. Uh, I look at the um, small amount of people that had to be quarantined out of our building because we followed all of the procedures uh, that, um, you know, we were, that came down from the state. So I'm very proud of how our students handled it. Uh, I think that um, having the return to normal activities such as sports, um, our prom I thought was great. I thought um, our advisors did a great job with that. Uh, and, it, and it, again, was our steps to return to normalcy. As I always told everybody through this, we were always looking through, uh, for pockets of normalcy. And it seemed that we were getting more and more pockets of normalcy as the school year ended. Um, so I really look forward now to the end of the year and um, you know, having our rest at the end. Uh, I know it's been grueling and uh, I've been very proud of our students and I look forward to seeing them in September with um, a lot more normalcy. What are you looking forward to the most this summer? Taking up all our social distancing signs and uh, putting our building back, getting ready for uh, more of a return to normalcy. Uh, that'll be something that I look very forward to doing and getting um, what the state is going to, to um, require. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, to seeing a little bit less of the restrictions that we have uh, in the last week we saw that the masks outside so I I'm encouraged by that and I feel that we will get even more return to normalcy as more and more people become vaccinated and we start moving past um, the last couple of years you know and I always look forward to baseball and golf and, and tennis and uh, having just a, a nice relaxing summer even though I I know it'll be a busy summer I just look forward to being able to take a deep breath and and uh, kind of reflect on all that has happened this year that sounds great. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Miller. Thank you for having me. And now back to our North Minutes. If you would like a cool rainbow lanyard, see Mr. Levin there. Only $5 with all proceeds going to the GSA. The yearbooks are here at Eagle Nation. If you pre-ordered a book and did not pick it up yet, you can get it today or tomorrow, Tuesday the 15th, from Mr. Nettleton. If you have not purchased a yearbook yet and want one, please contact Mr. Nettleton at djnettle at gowiecsd.org as soon as possible. Congratulations to the students in Ms. Smeal Draws Photoshop class whose artwork will be used for backpack program. Emma Curason, Milan Vendetti, Magdalene McCaig, Logan Seaburn, and Ryan Peterson. Emma was the top winner and all students received a prize from the program director, Mrs. Dupre. Congratulations. The Saratoga County Women in Government Leadership Program is for 10th or 11th grade future female leaders. There is still time to apply for this free program. See the flyer on the GTV door for more information. If you have a parking pass, please return to Ms. Colangelo at the guidance office as soon as possible. We were happy to have senior Erin Abernathy here today for her last GTV broadcast before she graduates. Erin, what is one of your best memories of this year? My best memories are being with friends and teachers. They have my back and I have theirs. What are you looking forward to this summer? I am looking forward to have fun with my parents in California. Do you have anything else you would like to say to your friends and teachers before you go? I would like to give advice, but I love you. Always try hard to do your best. Also, I want to say that it has been so many great years here at Gary. I had so much fun with Mr. Dossi and all my friends. Thank you so much for everything. Aaron, it has been so nice working with you on GTV, and we wish you all the best at graduation and after. It has been so fun to be on GTV. If you have something we'd like us to announce on GTV, please email Mrs. O at kbostran at gowacsd.org. We would love to hear about your good news and share it with Eagle Nation. Have a great day, Eagle Nation. We will see you on Wednesday with the rest of the GTV seniors for the last broadcast of the year.